Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at five solid backpacks that you can use for school, whether that's for high school or on campus at university. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster. We do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, you're interested in this sort of thing, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and subscribing to our newsletter. Let's dive right in and check out five backpacks for school. Now our criteria for a school backpack is pretty similar to an everyday backpack. It has to be well built, good organization and comfortable enough for the rigors of daily carry. Now as is the case with our other top 5 carry category videos, these are just our top 5 picks that might work for you. If there is a bag out there that's not on this list or doesn't feature in this video and works for you, please let us know what bag that is, we'd love to hear your thoughts as well. As we take a brief overview over these five bags, we've actually done independent full length product walkthroughs on each of the bags themselves. So if you wanna take a deeper dive into any of these bags, you can check out the links that appear on the screen. For those of you new to the channel here at Rush Faster, we've released our own laptop sleeve. It's the Rush Faster laptop sleeve. It's now available for worldwide shipping at rushfaster.co. If you're looking for a sleek, slim sleeve to protect your laptop if you're going to school or on campus, you can check it out at rushfaster.co. Okay, so first bag off the rank is the Boundary Supply Renin Day Pack. It is a 22 litre backpack. So even though it looks a little bit small, it's got a generous storage capacity. It can also fit up to a 16 inch laptop and it also has an external water bottle pocket. This bag is made with Boundary's own developed RE3 recycled material. So that's 42 plastic water bottles have gone into making this bag. Not only that, these materials have a nice texture to it and it is very durable and abrasion resistant. On the side of the bag, we have a water bottle pocket that should fit up to a 22 ounce water bottle, but depending on the circumference of your water bottle, you might be able to fit bigger bottles in there. Here I have a 32 ounce Lark self-cleaning water bottle and it fits in there fine. It's into the main dimension a little bit, but not too much of a worry if you can fit your water bottle in there. At the back, our harness system, we have a fairly straightforward harness system. We've got slightly curved shoulder straps that are reasonably thick and they are padded as well. They have an air mesh wicking, the spacer mesh to give some breathability on your shoulder straps. The back panel also features that same spacer mesh. It's nice and padded, so it'll reduce that sweaty back when you're carrying heavy loads. At the ends of those shoulder straps, we've got a little bit of strap management there just to keep that strap nice and clean and at the top we've got a simple folded nylon haul handle to pick the bag up and off the ground. One thing you might notice about the bag is these little loop points here. They're located throughout the bag. They allow you to attach lash straps to secure gear on the bag externally. So if that's something you're interested, you can opt for that as well. Now looking at the compartments, it is fairly simple in that regard. We've got two compartments, one in the front and our main compartment. The first one is just underneath this flap here. You can see it's secured down magnetically by these two studs. This compartment is good for small knickknacks. So just got a pair of sunglasses in there, a little pen, set of keys, and also just some hand sanitizer. That compartment also features a little accessory loop, so you can attach on your set of keys if you want to. You can just clip it on there, keep it nice and secure. Okay, so if we take a look at the main compartment of the bag here, we've got YKK Storm Guard zippers just to keep the moisture out. And then just on that front flap there, we've got a little compartment here which you can store other small bits and pieces. So I've just got a wallet in there, as well as a portable battery. And there is a little dock there for a boundary supply key clip that you can store a pair of keys on there as well. Just under that we have two slip pockets there. So I've got a face mask, laptop charger in the other one. It's got enough space for a little overshirt or a jacket. You can store a little pouch in there, set of headphones, and then a couple of books and textbooks. You could definitely store a binder inside this main area as well. So plenty of space there for your bigger and bulkier items. Now, as for our laptop compartment, we've got a protective nywall padding here. So nice and protective liner there to keep your laptop scratch free. And this will fit up to a 16 inch laptop. The laptop compartment is suspended from the base of the bag. So if you constantly drop it on its base or accidentally drop the whole bag altogether, it'll protect your laptop from any of those impacts. Overall, a very simple yet solid backpack with that classic day pack silhouette. The next bag on the list is the Moment Travel Wear Backpack. Now this bag was released as part of a collection, the Travel Wear Collection. Moment are known for their third party lenses for mobile phones, but they also have a solid carry offering as well. The bag comes in a 17 litre and a 21 litre, so it has different sizes to suit your needs. It can also fit up to a 16 inch laptop and or tablet. It also has an external water bottle pocket and is made of a 600 denier recycled nylon fabric. 
Similar to the Boundary Supply Renin Day Pack, it's got that classic backpack silhouette. It's slightly taller than the Renin. The water bottle pocket is on the right side here. It's nice and gusseted, so it will stretch out to accommodate big water bottle sizes. So it'll fit this Lark water bottle more than fine. And it can actually also stretch out to fit a 32 ounce or a one liter Nalgene water bottle. If we look at the back panel, we've got fairly straight shoulder straps that taper and curve along the end there. It's got nice padding. There is this air mesh wicking and the padding is reasonably dense. We've got that same padding on the back panel and that back panel is actually also ridged as well. So that just generates a bit more airflow, a bit more comfort. And underneath the back panel, we actually have a luggage pass through. So if you wanted to, you could take this bag traveling as well hook it up to your rolling luggage and streamline your carry. The bag also features an adjustable sternum strap. So it's a very easy to use sternum strap. You simply clip it on anywhere on this track to find the best position for your sternum strap. Little elastic webbing here to keep that strap nice and tidy, but no elastic webbing at the bottom here of the shoulder straps. And at the top, we've got a nice folded nylon haul handle for picking the bag up and off the ground. As for organization, we've got a little bit more organization than the Boundary Supply Renum Day Pack. We've got one sideways pocket here. We'll just open that up. We get access to a little bit of organization, some small slip sleeve pockets for smaller gear. So I've got my face mask in one of those pockets. I've got some wireless earphones in another little pen slot charging battery and then there's also a little key tether that you can attach your keys to and then another zippered pocket here in that mesh compartment that you can store more items inside there so lots of good slip pockets here on the side that you can access when you sling the bag around on your chest now if we get into the next compartment basically our main compartment we have a zipper opening that goes along this way it's sort of like a J shape along the bag allows you to fold this open it's not quite clamshell but it's enough for you to get good visibility inside the main compartment we've got a small zippered compartment here in this mesh pocket just got a wallet in there and then we've got plenty of space inside this 21 liter main compartment so i've just got a down jacket then i've got my books textbooks set of headphones as well as a little tech pouch. It's just one big main cavity inside this space, but you'll notice here there are some toggles. This actually makes the bag compatible with Moments camera cubes, and this bag actually has functionality built in to let you hook a Moment camera cube in there so you can have proper protection and access to a camera. Now, the very last compartment is our device compartment. This uses a water resistant YKK zipper. So if we just open that up here, get access to our laptop device area. Just at the top here, we've got slip pockets for peripherals and accessories that you'd be using with your laptop or your tablet. So a laptop charger, maybe a wireless mouse. I've just got some charging cables in there. And then two pen slots that are good for another set of pens or a stylus if you're taking a tablet with you. And then over on the opposite side, we've got our laptop and tablet sleeves. This will fit up to a 16 inch laptop and you can also fit a large tablet in there as well. It's got the same dimensions as the laptop sleeve, just slightly shorter. Both of them are suspended from the bottom of the bag. The tablet sleeve has very minimal padding and the laptop sleeve is more padded there. So overall, a well-built backpack with good organization and even the added bonus of being able to use it with camera carry. Okay, next up we have the Air Day Pack 2. Now this bag has a minimal look to it. It's very different from the rest of the bags that we've got here. Nice and sleek. It's got a lot of the black on black going on here. Out of all the bags that we're looking at, we've probably got the most decked out materials here. We've got an 840 denier nylon face with a durable weather resistant carbonate polyurethane coating. So really durable material, very water resistant. Water will just beat off this front face. And then we've got a 1680 denier ballistic cordura exterior on these sides of the bag. So really robust, really abrasion resistant bag. On top of that, we've got YKK zippers. But one thing to note about this bag is that it has a volume capacity of 14.8 liters. So it is the smallest bag that we're looking at today. Now, if you're interested in the Day Pack 2, but you just want more volume capacity, you can check out the Tech Pack 2 also from Air, and that's 17 liters of volume capacity. More space for you to store all your bits and pieces. Taking a look at the side here, we've got another side water bottle pocket and it is gusseted and elasticized to accommodate bigger water bottles. Now this is a bit of a snug fit with the Lark 32 ounce water bottle. It probably won't fit a Nalgene 32 ounce water bottle. So just keep that in mind. At the back of the bag, our harness system is more padded, more dense than the other backpack straps that we've seen so far. We've got ergonomically curved shoulder straps to fit on the body much better. We've got an adjustable sternum strap, simple Duraflex hardware 
where you can adjust it along these nylon webbing tracks here. We've also got good strap management here, so elastic toggles just to keep that strap nice and tidy. On the back panel, we've got densely padded spacer mesh. It's nice and thick. And there is also center channel for airflow, as well as a luggage pass-through if you want to take this bag traveling. At the top of the bag, we've got a padded nylon grab handle. It's like this nice seat belt webbing, so very soft to the touch and very padded and comfortable. In terms of compartments, we've got three compartments on the exterior. We've got one on the front, a small quick access one, and then our main compartment at the back. So if we take a look at this front compartment, we just zip this down, open this up. We've just got space for lots of gear. It's got a bit of dimension in there as well, so you can store some items in there just loosely, like a little wind jacket. We've also got a set of sunglasses there, and you can see all of these different slip pockets for your small bits and pieces. So just got a wallet in there, two pen slots, a little mesh compartment there. I've got some headphones in there, and then just charging cables in the other one. And then we've got two larger pockets here for your bigger items. So I've stored my laptop charger in one, some hand sanitizer, as well as a portable battery. On the top here, we have a zippered compartment just to keep things separate. In there I've got a face mask and there is a little key leash that you can attach a set of keys to. So good front space here with good dimension to store all of your smaller bits and pieces. Now the next compartment is our quick access compartment and I've just got my iPhone 12 in there with a the moment case. This is actually a fleece lined compartment so you can kind of feel that felt lining there just to protect those more delicate materials. So something like your phone, maybe a pair of sunglasses or glasses, you can just chuck them in there loosely and it'll be protected by this nice fleece lining. Now, the last compartment is our main compartment and where you'll be storing your laptop as well. So I've still been able to fit my headphones in there, my textbooks and notebooks and my little tech pouch. But as you can see, it's a much narrower section in here compared to the other bags. And that is obviously due to the smaller capacity there. You've still got some elastic pockets here to segment your items. So you could put different folders in there, different documents or books. And then we've got our laptop section here, which will fit up to a 16 inch laptop. It's nice and fleece lined and padded, very protected. But that is one thing to keep in mind with this bag. If you're carrying a binder and other textbooks, it might be a tight fit and you might not be able to fit your other items in there as well. So just keep that in mind. Overall, a good backpack with solid materials, decent organization, has this nice minimalist aesthetic, but it is lacking in its storage capacity. So keep that in mind. The next bag we have here is the Bellroy Classic Backpack Plus. Now this is a slightly bigger version of the original Classic Backpack. The Classic Backpack is a 20 litre bag and the Classic Backpack Plus here is a 22 litre backpack, but it definitely feels like a lot more. Bellroy are known for making bags with a smart design and they have a unique style and flair to them as well. It's made of durable, water resistant, recycled fabrics. Bellroy design a lot of their own materials technology and they're very conscious about being environmental. One thing to note about this bag is that although it has a lot of style points to it, good design it does not have an external water bottle pocket which might be a deal breaker to some of you if we turn to the back of the bag we have a very comfortable harness system we've got thick wide cut and curved shoulder straps that have a nice dense padding to them. It's kind of like an EVA foam padding underneath this performance stretch mesh. We've also got an adjustable sternum strap that uses magnetic hardware. Very intuitive, very easy to use. Nice little aluminium ladder locks here just gives it a bit more of a premium touch. And then some strap management here to tidy up that strap slack. The back panel uses that same padding on the shoulder strap, so very comfortable, very padded. And hopefully you can see just on the side here, we've actually got sort of a bounced out lumbar support there just to support the lower back area. On the top of the bag, we've got simple nylon folded grab handle as well. In terms of compartment, we've got a small discrete compartment just underneath that center flap there. And that's good for just small items like a face mask, hand sanitizer, your wallet. It's also got a little key leash that you can attach your keys to. Now, as for the main compartment here, opens up underneath that little weather flap there pull that back and we've got space for a lightweight down jacket also got my tech pouch in there textbooks and notebooks on this side we've got a little stretch mesh pocket that's actually quite deep I've managed to fit my entire headphones inside there you could fit a lot more inside there you can just see the amount of dimension in there and then on the opposite side here we've actually got a stretchy water bottle pocket inside the main compartment. Now you don't necessarily have to fit a water bottle in there, you can fit other items in there. And when you don't use it, it simply sits flush on the bag. It sometimes can interrupt 
the space here in terms of being able to fit flat items in there. So that's something you've got to be conscious of if you're carrying a binder or anything like that. This pocket actually might get in the way a little bit, so keep that in mind. Having said that, there actually are a few Bellroy backpacks that we will talk about in our honorable mentions just at the end of this video, so be on the lookout for those as well. Now at the top of the bag here, we've actually got another discreet pocket here just underneath that flap. This is good for just storing maybe a pair of sunglasses or maybe even a mobile phone. It's a very short compartment there. So just for smaller, delicate items, you can see that fleece lining and the performance stretch mesh there. And then lastly, at the back of the bag, we've got our laptop section here. This will fit up to a 16 inch laptop. It's very padded, it's got that fleece lining there. And then we've also got a zippered compartment for your laptop peripheral. So I've just got my laptop charger there, but you've got plenty of space for maybe storage devices or anything else. Overall, another solid bag made of good materials, decent storage capacity, and it has a really unique stylish look about it as well. Before we get into the last bag, the watch from today's video is from Aviate. Aviate designed timepieces with an explicit homage to planes and the history of military aviation. This timepiece, the classic chronograph, has clear design cues based on World War II era fighter planes. If you're interested in checking out watches from Aviate, there is a link in the description below. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have the Topo Designs Rover Pack Tech. Compared to the other bags that we've seen in this video, this bag has a heritage outdoors look about it. It's very strappy and that's part of the aesthetic. It is a 24.3 litre backpack, so plenty of organisation in this bag. And it features a 1000 denier recycled nylon, so very durable and abrasion resistant. It features water resistant YKK zippers as well as durable Duraflex hardware. On the top of the bag we can see this flap top here and we'll get into that later on when we look at the main compartment. But on both sides of the bag we have these water bottle pockets. Again, gusseted and elasticized to fit bigger water bottles. So again, getting our Lark 32 ounce water bottle in there. Fits in there nice and snug and you can see it's got a little bit more space to stretch out for bigger water bottles if needed. It does eat into the main compartment like the previous bag, so just keep that in mind. But also on both sides we have these compression straps. You'll notice these two compression straps, they actually allow you to cinch the bag down. If you're not carrying too much in the bag, you can actually compress the silhouette of the bag, make it much more slim and bring the center of gravity closer to your back. These compression straps also work really well to secure down taller items. So if you maybe want to use this bag for camera carry, you can stick a tripod in there and secure the tripod, the top of the tripod down with that compression strap. At the back of the bag, we've got fairly straight cut shoulder straps. They curve and taper along the end there and they have a nice air mesh wicking there. So nice and breathable, nice and padded. Simple daisy chain webbing along the shoulder strap so you can add accessories on and these little D-rings as well. No strap management for these shoulder straps. So you will have a bit of a dangly strap there. Just keep that in mind. But then looking at the back panel, we have a very unique back panel here. This is a ridge back back panel and it just provides air channeling along the horizontal lines of the back panel just to give you more breathability to prevent that sweaty back. The ridge back is padded as well so it's nice and densely padded so it'll provide comfort in that regard as well. At the top of the bag, simple nylon grab handle to pick the bag up and off the ground. On the front of the bag just below this zippered compartment here we've actually got daisy chain webbing here for you to lash on any other additional accessories. So even though you might be using this bag as a school bag for university or high school, you can actually take this bag on a hike, maybe on the outdoors, and lash on additional accessories there if need be. So in this front compartment, it's just a stash space, no explicit internal organization. So you can just put small items in there like face mask, wallet, hand sanitizer. And then at the top of the bag, we've got another quick access compartment. Here you can put your phone, portable battery, earphones, and there's also a little key leash here that you can attach your keys to. Now after that top compartment, we've got our main compartment here. So if we just unclip those two buckles, flip that open, we've got a drawstring closure here. So just pulling that drawstring enclosure away, we've got a big bucket space here. I've just got a lightweight down jacket and then plenty of space in there for all of your gear. Now the access to the main compartment is very different compared to the other bags. All the other bags just simply zip down, you can flap things open, but here we just have a bucket space. So as you can see, there's plenty of space for all the same gear that I've been storing in the other bags. You have a bit more gear, maybe you can store some sports gear as well as your lunch, anything like that. It's a very tall compartment here. So notebooks are in there, headphone is in there, as well as small tech pouch. And you can see it's got a bright yellow liner, it just helps you visualize everything inside, identify any small bits and pieces that might get lost in the mix. And at the very back we have an elasticized sleeve here that you can store a laptop sleeve but it isn't the primary laptop sleeve of this compartment so you could maybe put a folder in there a small binder in there 
and the laptop sleeve is actually located on the side of the bag for quick access. Because getting into the main compartment sometimes can be a chore, especially if you're in a rush. You have to open up the clips for the flap top and then open up the drawstring closure. But here on the side, you have access to a laptop sleeve. It's padded, it'll fit up to a 16 inch laptop and it is separate to the laptop sleeve inside that main compartment. So it's really good that they prioritize quick access for your laptop when you need it. But other than that, solid bag with a boxy shape, definitely a unique look compared to all the other bags that we've seen so far. And that might be a plus point for you when you're looking for a bag for school. Okay, so time for some honorable mentions. These are bags that don't quite make our top five cut, but we think are still really solid bags for school, or they're just very similar to the bags we've already featured. Like this one, this is the Bellroy Classic Backpack. It's just a smaller version of the Backpack Plus. It's got fairly similar design language as the Backpack Plus that we saw. Very good shoulder strap and harness system. Good main organization as well. Another bag to look at, this is the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. Just a bit more of a unique bag. It's got a different sort of silhouette. You can actually pack away the shoulder straps and carry it like a tote. But it's also got that same smart organization that Bellroy bags tend to have good side pockets, good main compartment, and good materials overall. If you're looking for something purely functionally, it's got enough storage space, volume capacity, organization, and a comfortable harness system, then the Green Room 136 Rainmaker is a pretty solid bag for that. It's made of good, solid materials and plenty of organization and space for school carry needs. Similar to the Green Room 136, this is the Evergood Civic Half Zip 22 liter. It's a very functional bag, good materials, comfortable harness system, and enough space to store your school needs at 22 liters. Just got a bit more of a sleeker aesthetic. Another bag from Bellroy, this is the Melbourne Backpack. It's got a flat top aesthetic, nice sleek look, and it's got a really unique quick access compartment here. You can just open up and see everything inside your bag. If you're picking this bag for school, it's it's definitely more so for the aesthetics of the bag. It doesn't have as much storage capacity or organization as the other bags, but in terms of its appearance and its look, it definitely does fit the bill and can actually merge into the work environment as well. Next up, we have the Crafted Goods Iger Pack. Now, this bag looks a bit similar to the Topo Designs Rover Pack Tech. It's got that same flap top closure. It's got a bit of a heritage look about it as well, but this bag definitely has more of a street style aesthetic. It's got that black on black going on. It's still made of durable materials and good organization and storage space for all your school needs. Lastly, this is the Incase Icon Light. Now there are a few different sizes in the Icon collection. Icon, Icon Slim, and this is the Icon Light. It does have a slick silhouette and it's very functional bag as well. Comfortable harness system, good organization and protection for your laptop. Lots of clean lines, has a bit of a business orientation to it, but that might be your style if you're looking for a sleek backpack. Now these are just some honorable mentions some of them might work for you, some of them definitely won't work for you. It's just about finding the right bag that fits your needs. If you think there's one that we've missed, let us know in the comments below. Well everyone, there you have it, our top five bags for school. As mentioned, there are so many good backpacks out there that you could use for school. So if you think there's one that we've missed or one that should have been in our top five list, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. But if you're thinking about getting any of these five bags, there are affiliate links in the description below. If you choose to use any of those links, they really do go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel. So we appreciate any support there. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to our newsletter where we talk about carry news every month. But most of all, we love to hear from you. What do you think about our top five? Do you agree with them? Do they meet the needs for your school carry? And what are you using? We'd love to know what you're rocking for school. If you want to see more videos from us or more of our top five picks, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, these have been our top five bags for school. Take care and we'll see you next time.